What's going on? Welcome to another episode of Brown Bag with Maximum Beverage. I'm your host, Matt Whitney. It's episode number 41, Wednesday, and we have a special request going on here. Thank you, Bert, for submitting uh, this wine through my wife. Awesome. She said it was one of her favorites, her go-tos. So we're gonna check it out. She sent it sealed in this special bag, which says special request, hashtag brown bag, and it's very cool. Um, so I'm gonna review this wine. Again, bringing you inside the bottle every Monday through Friday to find out who's delivering value and who's not. Let's get in here a little bit. This bag got a little destroyed when we were trying to open it. We twisted it up. She had it sealed which was very uh, smart of you, because I'll, if I can peek, I'll peek. I'm just kidding. Red wine. Big nose on this one. I'm getting a lot of green notes. Definitely oak. Raspberries, ton of that. Tiny bit of cocoa. Nice spice on the nose. Um, definitely an oak. Got vanilla coming in there, and I'm getting like these different kind of green notes. I'm getting like, ah, what is that? Well, it's definitely a little of the, that kind of salsa, fresh chopped green peppers. Um, nice nose, big nose. Let's get into the uh, mouth on this one. Mm. There's that greenness again coming through, kind of filling the palate. By greenness, I don't mean young, as some people say, you know, that you're green. I mean, like, literally, like, a uh, slight bit of herbaceousness, like, um, even like a little bit of fresh cucumber. And then I got the bell pepper in there. I got these, you know, strawberry, uh, sorry, raspberry pie coming in. Um, really ripe um so this puts me down a lane here based on color um we're we're gonna be domestic um since last week i drank five cabs i'm pretty schooled now in the flavor profile of cabernet so this is definitely cab um nice cab i'm gonna price it high teens 18 19 bucks domestic a lot of rich fruits, probably Southern California, Central Coast-ish, down, um, you know, in for, as far as wine regions goes, kind of Central, Southern part of Central Coast. Um, nice wine, maybe fruit is sourced from all over, but pretty tasty. I'm gonna give it 8.4, um, which is a nice price point for that score. Let's open it up, let's see what it is. got Napa. I thought it was a little more extracted. Vinted and bottled by 20 Bench. So we got the 20 Bench Napa Valley Cab. What do you got for price point? About 20 bucks. 20 bucks? So 20 bucks, it's at 18, 19 dollars. She told me she bought this at my store, but at Maximum Beverage, but I don't think she got this over in West Harvard. So we'll have to double check that. This is nice wine, really fruit forward. Reminded me a lot of that 20 rose. It's funny, it's called 20 bench. That 20 rose that we had, a little more of green, the greenness in there. Probably putting a little cab franc. Um, this is a nice wine. Um, we might have to bring this in the store if we don't already carry it. So I don't know if you'll find this at Maximum Beverage. But thank you, Bert, for submitting this wine. Listen, I want more people out there to look their local shop, come into our store, pick out a wine, um, send it over to us, or send us a suggestion. Send Kevin's going to put his email here on the bottom. Shoot him an email um, directly to him so I don't see it and say, hey, why don't you try this wine or why don't you try that wine? Wines you think that are over-delivering for the price and wines maybe you think that under-deliver that people should stop drinking. There's a lot of that out there. This is a good pick. Uh, Bert, I know you said this was your go-to, so cheers. Uh, we'll see you later.